Hey guys, welcome. This is the question that I posted on LinkedIn. So, in the first code, we are having only one always block, but two statements. In the second code, we are having two always blocks, but only one statement in the each block. So, what circuit does this code synthesize to? To understand this, we need to know the working of always block in Verilog. So let's see. You know that in Verilog generally all blocks will work parallelly, right? All blocks will work parallelly. So, whenever there is only one always block, let us say always so here there is only one always block. Whenever there is a passage in the block this block will start working. Whereas in another code, let us say there are two always blocks. Do that again. So this is one code and this is another code. So code one and code two. So whenever there are two always blocks, independent of the statements inside, they will start working parallelly. What I mean is at the same clock edge, this block will start executing and this block will start executing at the same time step. While here there is only one always block at the same time step, only this will execute. But here since there are two always blocks at the same time step, these two blocks will start executing. So the concept is clear, right? Now let us see the code. So in the first case, it is always the block begin and B is equal to A and Q is equal to B. So here there is only one always statement. So at the time step, whenever there is a passage of the clock, this block will start executing. Since there are blocking statements, I have explained the difference between blocking and non-blocking in my previous question. Please do watch this if you are not clear about these assignments. So in blocking assignments, what will happen? The first statement will execute. After that, the second statement will start executing, right? They will execute sequentially. The first statement will block the execution of second statement. So in that manner, the value of A will be assigned to B in the first statement. And in the second statement, the value of B will be assigned to Q. So at the end, the value of A is assigned to Q. Remember, this everything is happening at the same, same time step. So let us say t equal to one second. This all executions are happening at the same time step, t equal to one second. So here at the end, the value of a is assigned to q. That's the reason we will be getting a 
normal flop this is output q this is input a and this is flop this is a different flop so this is the solution for the first code now let us see what happens in the second code so here we are having two always statements let me write those always direct positive clock b is equal to j next one is always at the red positive clock q is equal to t so now at time t equal to one second since there are two always clock they two should start executing parallelly what i mean is this and this should start executing at the same time so indirectly this assignments and this assignments should execute parallelly so this one and this one b equal to a and q equal to b will execute at the same time why why because they are in different always blocks well if you see in the first code they are in the same always block so at the time t equal to zero they should execute sequentially well here they are in different always blocks so at time t equal to one second they should execute parallelly that's the reason b equal to a and q equal to b they both are executing at the same time so now you may be thinking this is similar to one assignment that we previously discussed that is non blocking assignment always at the red positive clock b will be getting a and q will be getting b so there will be begin and end in this case also at time step t they both will start executing parallelly why because the assignments are non blocking while here they will execute sequentially why because the assignments are blocking that's the reason so in this case also b is equal to a and q is equal to b they both will happen at the same time so indirectly this code and this code both are same that's the reason we will be getting two flops here and also two flops here so let me draw the circuit first input is a output is b let me call this t1 and flop and in the second case input is b output is q so input is b output is q let me call this t2 and the same clock will go here so this is the solution for the code 2 and this is the solution for the code 1 this example is to make you understand how always block will work in a verilog code so if you have any questions you can comment i will reply yeah that's it guys see you with next question have a good day bye bye